On April 13, 2024, the Elantra County Commission celebrated the renaming and dedication of Santa Fe Lake Park as Jill McGuire Santa Fe Lake Park, a fitting tribute to the woman who lived on and championed the Santa Fe Lakes, swamps, and river for more than three decades. We're all just very proud that uh, the county and, you know, the town of Melrose um, is acknowledging all of mom's decades of hard work working to preserve uh, Lake Santa Fe. The marker that we have placed in this park I think is going to explain to people, the visitors who come to this park, exactly the impact that she had and, and the, the focus that she had on making sure that these waters were protected. Hopefully that will inspire the next generation coming on to realize that one little woman can actually make a big impact. When I first got into politics, Jill was a person who helped educate me about the importance of this place and the importance of this lake and the importance of taking care of what others had kind of preserved. Uh, and so she really educated me all through the time that I knew her for the last 10 years of her life. And I'm so pleased that we can honor her, honor her name and her legacy. She was the inspiration. We had some skills, but she was the one that set the fire, the good fire. She led our organization by example, but it was an example that none of us could keep up to. I think we as board members recognize that we didn't have the passion or the energy or the knowledge that Jill had. Jill McGuire was a friend, a conservation colleague, and a personal inspiration to me. She was a model for a citizen activist who protected her neighborhood and its natural resources. I'm really, really proud of my sister. She was an icon in the environmental movement around here and this is a beautiful park. It's a beautiful um, dedication to my sister who worked so hard to make it be so great. McGuire's work to protect the natural environment and water in North Central Florida was her passion and included leaving the park, which now bears her name, better than she found it. Public parks and public places are for the public and Jill knew that and Jill knew that if we made some improvements it would draw folks, not just folks that lived on the lake, of folks from the entire area. We replaced the playground uh, two years ago and, and added new picnic tables, trash receptacles, and then we just finished the construction of a new restroom facility and the demolition of the old restroom facility down by the boat ramp. Many of the improvements now made to the park were accomplished at McGuire's urging, conveyed through a handwritten note composed when she was ill and hand-delivered to Commissioner Mary Helen Wheeler, who passed it along to fellow Commissioner Ken Cornell. She said, well, I need to give you something. So she pulled out of her pocket and she gave me a note. Parking, underlined. Bathroom, covered pavilion. Shade over the playground. Signage for dogs on a leash. Water, walk and running trail. And then the last thing, if you know me, it says pickleball courts. <laughs> So we don't have that one yet, but Jason is working on that one. Without Jill, what you see here is a development, uh, mobile homes, uh, and it would be, it would be some, a, a crazy bad place. Uh, we would have wrecked it. And while the honor has been earned, perhaps there is still more work to do. This sign, you know, is a reminder to us too that the legacy that an, a one person can leave can make a real impact on the future for all of us. I think mom would be very happy about it, but she would also want to remind everybody that the work isn't done.